Abbey Flex Layout Studio allows you to create formalized descriptions of documents with variable layouts, grabbing data from semi-structured or unstructured documents, and these are called Flexi Layouts or Layouts for short. The created layouts are then used by Flexi Capture to capture data from the documents which they describe. So essentially, Flexi Layout Studio is a markup tool trying to find data that isn't found in zones like fixed forms. A Flexi Layout project is, is a set of files containing information about the elements and their properties, and it includes test images. Flexi Layout projects fall into two types. You can have a Flexi Layout project used to detect data fields on documents, and you can also create a Flexi Layout classifier project which is used to develop classifiers to group documents into classes. When you create a Flexi layout, um, you need to specify some settings, including text type, uh, text languages, multi-page parameters. So if you're dealing with multi-page documents, you need to take an extra step. And a pre-recognition mode, whether it's fast or balanced or thorough. Also, a uh, pre-recognition area could be limited by a rectangle, which you could specify in the Advanced tab. So let's go ahead and create a Flexi Layout. I've already started Flexi Layout Studio, and I'm just going to enter in a name here and click OK. And we'll use English as our language, and we're going to allow multiple page documents. We'll specify documents could be as few as one pages long and as many as three pages long. And then I can click on the advanced pre-recognition mode and select uh, different pre-recognition modalities. So if I've got poor quality images, I might switch this to thorough. And that's good for the settings. After creating your layout, you need to add images, which are used for creating your Flexi layout and debugging the Flexi layout. So it's a good idea to create a good size test batch. Kind of the more test pages, the better. You certainly want to include representative images, the good, the bad, the ugly, low quality, high quality, whatever you're going to be encountering in real life. And they must include all the elements that could occur in the real life forms to be processed. You can add images of a variety of formats to a batch, JPEG, bitmap, uh, PDF, etc. And a batch may contain images of different resolutions. You can also add images of one and the same document scanned at different resolutions. Uh, thus, when creating and testing your layout, you will be able to select the resolution that ensures the best quality of optical recognition and object detection. Images can be loaded from subfolders and pre-processed. So let's add some images and pre-recognize them. Since these settings look good, we'll keep them and we'll add images. We'll take these images here. But one other thing that I want to point out is this image pre-processing settings tab. So with this, you can automatically pre-process images. So um, that's this checkbox right here, and usually you're go going to want to do that. That's what I've done. So I'll go ahead and take these images, and as they're being added, they are going, as soon as they're added, they're going to be pre-recognized. And we can see the pre-recognition kicking off for these eight pages. And that's complete. Pre-recognition essentially is full text OCR, full text recognition, and it's executed regardless of flexi layout matching. During pre-recognition, we clean up the image, we clean up textures, and we identify basic objects, each character, every line, every logo, barcodes, and it classifies them by type. It merges text objects into words and lines and recognizes those. Really, to get started in Flexi Layout Studio, once you've added and pre-recognized images, you need to click on the first image to see it here, and you can adjust the zoom as needed. What we are able to do is find recognized words by clicking on the W button. We can see the OCR results word by word. We can also see lines, and that, those are complete. Well, let me click on that again. 
those are complete strings that are that are near each other so we can see that entire address we can also see lines and there's none that jump out right here but horizontal and vertical lines are recognized barcodes as well we're not seeing barcodes here and then raw objects will show us every object that was found including logos properties of each image object can be viewed in the properties window so you can go ahead and select different strings maybe I could select this logo you may have noticed that in this properties window these values are changing so you can see where something's actually located and get some more information about it during pre-recognition the program selects basic objects on the image and classifies them by type so is it a is it a barcode is it text is it a line horizontal line a vertical line and so on uh, the program also merges text objects individual characters into words and lines look through the images in your batch all the images and visually try to find objects which are present on all of the images and occur on each image only once such objects will form the means to identify your flexi layout perhaps look for a title or any other object which unambiguously identifies the form as belonging to a particular type of document the identifier object must be present on all of the forms and if possible recognized without errors so I don't recommend really short strings longer strings are better than short strings and you can withstand OCR errors better if it's a longer string and in our project here each image has the word account number account no in the top right corner and each first page of the document has a bank name and it also has the string account statement when specifying these identification elements you need to set them as required elements which is not a default setting and if the program fails to find this object corresponding to your search string flexi layout matching will be stopped which will mean that the form does not belong to the document type described by the flexi layout consider the order in which you will create elements and how they will be arranged in the flexi layout tree the order of elements in the tree will determine the order in which the program will look for the corresponding objects on the images for example on each first page of the document we could look for the bank name the account statement string the field called full name and the field called registration address those are probably good anchor elements as well as items that could be used to identify the form consider the methods that can be used to find each of the objects in the flexi layout these methods will be described by means of element properties speaking in general aside from ID elements which must be uniquely found on page one start with the most reliable objects that is to say those elements which are present on most of the images and which do not occur too often on the same image such as bank name or account number and later they can be used as starting points or anchor reference elements to help you find less reliable elements consider placing some of the elements into group elements group elements are convenient for testing parts of the flexi layout which are independent of one another for example you could create an address group and have all the constituent parts of an address in that address group and then you could just test that address group by itself or more generally a flex layout made of a total of 100 elements could be divided into say three group elements uh, maybe a title group for the top of the form then maybe a body group for the bulk of the form and then maybe a bottom group element for the end matter of the form in our document here full name registration address account number and other information about bank client from the top of the page could be grouped together as kind of a uh, an independent group 